Greetings and welcome, gnomes and nomads, back to Spider Slaughter. In the last episode, we killed a few goblins and quite a few mounts, and also encountered our first new enemies, skeletons and golems, which, if I'm honest, were a little underwhelming. So we are probably going to go a little bit further down. We're going to give uh, our troops down there a little bit more time, just to see if they do meet any other enemies. But uh, I've got a feeling we're not going to, not until we're a bit deeper and find some something a little bit more challenging for us. Now I've made a couple of changes up here, you may have noticed. I'm building out this wall. I'm also changing the floors up here. I'm going to start removing these ones. We're going to put a training ground here. And probably have a, a guard station around here or something like that. I intend to move this down here. Like a lever down here, move that lever there, and move this door down there. So that when we've got people training, or on guard, ready for some sort of shenanigans outside the fort, waiting for people to come to us, or preparing to sally forth, I can close the door down here, which will give me a little bit more time, in case one of these decide they desperately need a drink and start making their way there. It'll give me more time to react and tell them to cancel pulling the lever. The other thing is I intend to stockpile some drink and some food up here, and maybe put a little dining room. Uh, just something very simple, just maybe like two tables, four chairs, or something like that. Maybe four tables, four chairs, whatever I do. This little area will be a, well, sort of like the gatehouse, I guess. The training military, when this door is closed, will still be able to fulfill their need for drink and food. So it should give me a little bit more time. So. Whereas I had to send my troops back in the last uh, episode because they were starving, they could just break formation, go back, grab a sandwich and come straight back out. We wouldn't have to go through the rigmarole of pulling them all back in, closing the gate and opening this one, basically cycling the airlock. I'm toying with the idea of possibly storing some traps here ready to rearm these because whoever pulls the lever is going to be stuck in this area. But that isn't you know, necessarily a bad thing. They'll, it'll mean we've got a dedicated lever puller stuck here. And without any stockpiles which take arms and armor, you know, intentionally we will not have a graveyard or any sort of stockpile that take weapons and things like that here. That way, they won't busy themselves running off to try and uh, gather them. They'll just chill out here. There'll, there'll be nothing else for them to do. So they will be at our beck and call when we want them to pull le levers. Now, while all that's going on, I think, although the Silvery Lurkers are more than likely completely adequate to kill anything that's down here. Oh, I've also added some uh, temp storage to bring in stone and another one up here as well to bring in dirt. Right by here. You can't see it. There we are. Oh, people have already started work. Well done. But uh, whilst they're doing that... Although the Silvery Lurkers are more than adequate to deal with things right now, I really, really would like to get these steel crossbows made. Now, we've got four here. Are they requiring anything? They probably are. We probably need steel. How is that going? Let's check our stocks. That'll be the easy way to check things out. Uh, metal. We're 150 ore, 26 copper, 50 tin. 40 malachite, 4 silver, and 30 iron. That's not bad at all. 38 bars. We've got 20 iron bars, 9 bronze, 9 tin. And nothing else. That's not so good. We definitely need more coal. Um, actually, how's our coal stocks, come to think of it? What would that be? Oh, coal. That may be why we do not have any steel right now. Also, the steel brass plates are probably being made... Uh, pretty quickly, so we'll put the armor plates at the top. So I think we're going to suspend you for a little bit just so that we can build up our steel stocks and that way we can get these steel crossbows made sooner rather than later. Now, wow, did you did you actually just butcher a... Can you butcher them? No, okay. Oh, you can butcher the right leg. You can actually butcher the legs. That's fantastic. I didn't realize that. But uh, for a moment there, I thought they had... Uh, Butchered a golem. I was all excited to see what kind of ore we got from it. But no. Or even if we just got lumps of clay, honestly, I'd be happy with that. Permanent source of clay. Actually, I hadn't really thought about that. That's actually pretty awesome. So uh, we could have a booming clay pottery industry 
entirely supplied by killing clay, clay golems which randomly spawn. Now they're slowly building this all out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tell them to remove these walls which is going to require deconstruct. There we go. That one looks like he's standing up, but no. It, that's his arm. My lord, these golems have other golems for arms. What kind of wizardry is this? How could we defeat such a foe? I do not know. I am afraid. All right, we want a another one or two market stalls, and they require three tables and one chair. So, let's check out what have we got in way of furniture. Shouldn't have too much. We've got four tables. Well, that's pretty cool. And one chair. So we've got one that we can build straight away. And we need another two tables and a chair. Right. Let's go ahead and build one of these straight away. So now will it allow me to use... Yeah, we've got three birch tables. That's awesome. And we'll grab the birch chair as well. So I'll we'll go ahead and place that. We'll orientate it differently just for fun. And we've got a granite chair down here, I believe. Let's get some granite tables. So another two granite tables, please. Oh, actually, no, we don't have another granite chair. And a granite chair. And this way you'll be able to see what the, the stone tables look like as well, which is uh, kind of cool, unplanned. Now the tinker is getting along. I'm if anyone happens to know the answer to this question, if you have more than one tinkerer, does it increase the speed at which they invent stuff? If so, please let me know. Um, though having said that, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have another tinkerer. Regardless, what does it require to make a tinkerer's workshop? Workshop. Tinkerer. Where are you? Tinker bench. We need a workbench, two chairs, and a wrench. Okay. We make a wrench here, I believe. Where? Wrench, yes. Make this out of... Oh, go on then. Make it, make it out of tin. And we'll move it all the way to the top so it gets made first. Right there. And we need a workbench. Although I could just set this up and have all of these things automatically queued, I still find it better to do it myself. I don't know. It might be the uh, control freak in me wanting to know exactly what things are made out of. Now, there were two chairs or am i making that up no two chairs so we'll have two stone chairs and boom boom there we go let's have a look now we should have everything we need for this i'll get that set up once this one's built and they are slowly replacing the doors which is great now the nice thing with the windmill if you click on the on the the mechanical door, it'll say something like "total required power 21, required power 20," which doesn't make much sense. You don't get a full view of everything, but if you click on the power source, it'll take you the total power that's being requested, which is 52, and we've got 80 available, so we should be able to move this down without any trouble at all. Um, I had considered placing a stockpile for traps, but one thing I'm worried about that is if I do that, will this little dude? Like, if we've got a manned party coming through these traps, will he become obsessed with trying to rearm them? I think he will. Whereas if this door is closed and there's no access to tra the trap components, they're not going to bother. Oh, wait, no. They don't use trap components, do they? They just literally go back up and reset it. Ah, damn. That might not be so good then, having someone trapped in here. Hmm. Maybe I need to make a specific lever-pulling profession that does not have engineering. I'm not sure. But on the plus side, it does mean that we can have a trap stockpile. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll make this priority two. So it'll uh, grab any traps that are made before the main stockpile we've got that accepts anything. Um, traps. There are only two types of traps, I believe. And we'll take both. I'm not sure if traps are stored in a barrel. We'll assume they're not. We're never really going to make these in advance because they take quite a lot of stuff to make. So uh, we'll probably only make them to demand. Um, and I don't imagine we're going to want to place more than four down at a time. So we'll leave that there as it is. Now, let's go and have a look. Have we not had anything else try to uh, get out of here, really? That's honestly quite surprising. 
And equally surprising is that the, no more work has been done down here. Hmm. A little bit concerned about that, honestly. But uh, we're going to go ahead and prepare the next way down. So we'll get another... Well, we won't get a 3x3 three three as... Well, actually, no, it will be a 3x3. Three three, and then we'll have the first door there and, like, a, a torch there. Um, have we got any doors? Have we got any spare doors around? Because if we do... No, we don't. I was going to place one there and just see if uh, we could use this as a little experiment to see if people would path there, if the creatures would try to get through. But it doesn't look like... Ooh, goblins. And goblin music, I believe. Now, are there any bugs outside? There are still a few. And there are more goblins over there as well. We'll let the man deal with the goblins for a little while whilst uh, we continue to do our work on this area. But uh, we'll probably send our troops out there before too long and clear up the goblins again. A bit more practice. And since we're not actually using them for anything, we may as well have them training. So go ahead, fortified seals and also velvet evildoers. Enjoy. Now let's uh, speed time up a bit. Still haven't chopped down these trees, which is a bit frustrating. Perhaps I should try and segment this large pine forest into two pine forests. Or groves, rather. So that I can have one on standby, so that if I want apple wood, I can just put the others off. So that they, the lumberjacks will only work on that. Um, well, actually, I should do that anyway, but... I'm tempted to take off the gathering seeds. Let's just check. How many of those have we got? Plants and clippings. We've got more than enough of both. I think. How many trees are here? Um, 105. So yeah, we've got more than enough clippings to completely replant this area. Uh, go on then. Stop cutting clippings and just plant saplings and fell trees. And the same here. Just this once, and here as well. Don't cut clippings. Go ahead. Now the problem that we're seeing here is that, again, it's just gnome power. We lack people who are fast enough to move around, unfortunately. It is really starting to drag down on our productivity, I'm afraid. And it looks like this place is cleaned up. So we're going to undesignate this. And we'll do the same for the stone stockpile we've got all the way down here. No more need for that. And there's lots of mants dying outside the walls, which is good news for us. Let's have a proper look at the goblin. Uh, there's a big clump of them there, but I still imagine we'd be able to take them out. We'd probably be able to deal with these ones fairly easily. And it seems that this is the only place that the others are. So... Um... Yeah, it looks like we're probably going to have to march out soon. It's the third day of summer. We'll go out on the 4th, ahead of the merchant arriving, and clear up whatever's out there. For now, we're going to allow our gnomes to continue working on this. But it is taking them a lot longer than I was expecting. Aha! So it was you, skeleton, who came in here with copper. Fantastic, though it doesn't really tell me. Damn it. That is a copper hammer, I'm sure of it. And yet, I can't see it. Oh well. Attack. Charge! Shouldn't really be able to do anything to our troops. Let's see what the combat log is like for them. We've got pretty much all of the silvery lurkers here, except for Toz. Let's have a look. Uh, Hornstein bites the skeleton. I don't think that's going to make much damage. Um, skeleton swings, hammer... Uh, the iron would eventually break under a hammer blow because that's the right type of damage, but Ornstein kicks it. Nice. So that's his fighting skill going up there. Lots of punches and kicks and bites. That's uh, pretty good. Their fighting skill is slowly going up. Copper hammer at a Kandar misses. Punches it. Wow, did it daze him? He punched him in the head, smashing the skull. That's fantastic. Uh, Snowdog picks up raw granite. So now Snowdog's brawling skill is going to start going up. 
And that's why it would be useful to have... Oh, it's over. <laughs> I'm not sure who got the killing blow there, though. I suppose I could check. I don't think it really matters, but... Uh, it was probably completely ridiculous. Who was it? Uh, Anthrax smacked it with a steel hammer and shattered its head open. Well done, Anthrax. But uh, Anthrax, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's dropped the hammer, so I wonder why I couldn't actually see what it was equipped with. That's a bit odd. Let's check out our professions. Where are our miners and what are they doing? They're idle, but why? Equipment? Pine torch? Okay, may maybe I've got to have it in the other hand then. That's the only thing I can imagine, is that I've got the torch in the wrong hand. Um, We'll have a look at this then. Let's go to uniforms and... Where are you? Miners. Put the torch in the right hand. See if that makes any difference. Oh, perhaps I'm meant to tell them to equip any? No, it doesn't... No, that doesn't make any sense because the skeletal militia equip their hand axe in the right hand... in the left hand. Have I got any picks? Maybe that's the problem. Let me just quickly check. Um, oh, wrong screen. But uh, I'd be surprised if I don't. Oh, I've got four pickaxes. I've got two iron pickaxes now, so there's really no reason why they shouldn't be equipped. Uh, okay, we'll swap their hands around then and just hope that this works. Oh, wait. <sighs> I'm a derp. I'm an enormous, stupid derp. I haven't told them to be militia. Uh, fine, just go and get your bloody pickaxes. Stop making a fool out of me. But there we go, that should fix that now. Damn it. How annoying. So they should go off, grab their pickaxes, and then, yeah, there we go. Miners are coming down. That was silly. But at least we worked that out quickly enough, I guess. They haven't been idle for too long. Now then, what's going on in here? We've got gems aplenty. Uh, they should be being stored over here, but we probably just don't have enough hands to do it yet. Um, people are carrying on. Let's check out our bandage stockpile, actually. What are they like? Got 192 bandages. That is fantastic. That is honestly amazing. I'm really, really pleased with that. That is our full bandage quota, I believe. Yep. So they've gone through all of that. Well done. Our fort is quite well defended then. In that case, this should be a wool mattress. No, it's a cotton mattress. Damn it. Have you made the bed I told you to make? Did I tell you to make it? No, I didn't. Okay, well, fine. Use the cotton mattress, please. And uh, birch bed frame. Let's go ahead and get that out of our stuff. Oh, wait. What do we need there? Have we run out of something? Needs planks. Oh. Well, in that case, we'll cancel that. And what was it? Workbench. I thought we had enough. Oh, it needs six. Duh. Right, there, okay. We'll make a pine workbench then. Do that after the bed. And while all that's going on, we'll come back up here and build the new workshop, the new market store. It'll be made out of three granite tables and actually they're all granite chairs as well, so full granite. Let's see if we've got anything like that. Yes, we have. So, oh, damn it. There we go. So that should be. Pretty much everything we need. Right, we best go down and check that out. I just want to see what this guy's equipped with. He's just another dirt golem. He's upset. Why? What's wrong? I feel bad now. He's 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 down. That's maybe why he's attacking us. He's just kind of depressed. Oh, I can see. You can see the dirt pile. Probably one of his friends. He recognizes it. But uh, game over there. Sorry, dirt golem. But. Uh, you cannot stand in the way of progress. Let me see how that fight went down. Anthrax again. <laughs> I'm interested in seeing your kills, Anthrax. Let's have a look at you. So we we'll go down to the soldier profession at the bottom. Where are you? There we are. What are your kills? You've killed one bear, eight goblins, two mants, two golems, and two skeletons. 
fair enough. Oh, there's a new goblin spotted. Or perhaps uh, an old goblin spotted. Now, it doesn't look like there are any mounts outside. We'll probably go out to face them soon. I wouldn't mind getting this finished, though, before we do. And we can remove some more of these floors now. This one and this one. And actually, they've finished doing the majority of the building work, which is pretty cool. It's very unlikely we're going to get all of this settled up first, but uh, if we can get the majority of this work done, like the moving the levers, I'm going to leave that until after the next time we go out, probably after the next uh, merchant wave. Um, the summer merchants, you can often get more than one of them, which is why I'm making sure we've got plenty of market stalls, because if we can get like all four of these filled, then we can probably buy enough ore to see us through until next year, if we particularly wanted to. Um, that would be pretty awesome for us. But I'm probably not going to have this area paved. I'll just leave that outdoorsy. But I will be lifting this whole area by one. We'll be rising this to two tall walls so that our archers can patrol it and shoot down into the fight. Ultimately, if we're inviting them in, I want the fight to happen here rather than in the corridor, though that does limit... Well, I don't know if it does, because I would have said that limits who can fight, but honestly, I, I think they just all pile onto one tile if they need to, and it's just one giant brawl. So it probably doesn't help at all to have it in there, or out in the open. If it's out in the open, then we can shoot them at least, so that's what we'll do. Uh, it looks like we've got plenty of hides, and probably not enough space to store it all, which is a shame. We'll have to look with the next trade at getting rid of some of these hides, I think. Maybe even selling some of the meat. I'm not sure about that, but uh, we might do. Got distilled strawberries, strawberry overflow. We're not really having any of those. Um, that's okay. Well, there's just not enough fruit here, it looks like. Let's just check that out, because that would surprise me. We go to food. Let's have a look. We've only got 36 fruit. That's why we're having issues. I guess we need to start uh, farming our strawberries then. So let's re-enable the strawberry farm. Wow. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Right. Well, we're chopping down plenty of pine, which is good, I guess. Um, we'll probably buy some logs, I think, from the next merchant. Because we are struggling with that, with only two lumberjacks who only seem to do work half the time. Wow, there are a lot of goblins outside. That is kind of crazy. And we can get rid of these two walls. Remove... No, remove floor we want. We'll get rid of this one, and this one. And we'll slowly start building up this... No, this area now. But let's go ahead and start... What happened? Oh, hey! Mant Invasion. Good. Kind of wanted that. It's not much of one, though. And it's probably because we're starting to run low on food and drink. But uh, hopefully... They'll be able to thin the goblins out a little bit. How many of them are there? No, there's not many. Oh, wait. That goblin died pretty quick. Oh, wow. Okay. There were a lot of mants in that fight, it looks like. But yes, we're going to uh, continue digging down now, I think. We're just not seeing anything worthwhile. Oh, Ooh, what's this? Tin. Oh, okay. I accept. And coal, by the looks of it. So let's go ahead and mine into this wall a little bit. But be very careful that we don't cut into the... There, okay. I really don't want to uh, lose this recording because of beetle lag. So, we'll just mine out the precious ores. What are you up to? Guess with the red shirt. Probably coming to fetch some tin, by the looks of it. Well done. And we'll continue to mine into this coal as well. Wow. 
Our miners are getting very, very good at their jobs. And to speed this along, we'll just mine out a uh, 3x4 room there. And likewise up here, we'll mine out a 3x4 room. We don't really mind if extra things spawn down here. In fact, we kind of want that, honestly. Though, I don't like all of these rocks just building up everywhere. So, let's get another stockpile. Make it a priority one so people will get this job done pretty quickly. And gather raw stone there, please. Okay, we've hit some more coal. This is fantastic. Oh, Gollum. Are you going to be upset as well? Yes. Why are you so upset, dudes? Is is Have we done something to offend you? I think we may have. I mean, it wasn't our intention, I promise you. We've got nothing nothing against the Gollum kingdom. I'm not even sure what your kingdom name is. But we've got nothing against it. Okay, all the coal is gone from up there, but there is plenty down here. So let's get some more mining going on. Nice big room. And what are you doing? Is that Million Fowl again? No, it's Strider. Okay. Now, Matt just died. Ooh, another Matt has died. Oh, big brawl going on here. That's what we like to see, honestly. There's another fight going on there. It's the fourth day. We could possibly go out and uh, get involved in this, but I'm happy to let them fight until one side is clearly the victor. Mount died. Not too surprised. Most of those guys are in steel. And a couple of them have got hammers, so... Goblin bled to death. That's good. Where? Oh, there's one there. Nice. Let's keep that fight going for a little bit. Oop. Skeleton, perhaps? Where? No? Yes. Attack! Oh, our militia thought he... Uh, Mr. Dark Draker... Felt he had chance. Let's see. What have you got in fighting axe? You've got 11. That's uh, not not amazing. Let's see the skeleton. What's he got? His axe is 11 as well. So you are actually equally matched. But uh, you've probably got more of a chance. Is the skeleton being attacked? I hope it is. You've probably got more of a chance simply because you've got armor. Whereas every time you smack the skeleton, you're actually hurting the skeleton. Right, plenty more walls gone here, so let's dig deeper. We will not dig all the way to the end, because that's just inviting trouble. But it's not going too bad. Sun is setting on the fourth day. Oh dear. Lick the entrencher. Hmm. Lick the entrencher. We better get out there before he gets his legendary steel hammer. Okay. Well, it is the night of the 4th, and we did say that we wanted to fight just before the 5th. So, is the work done here? It looks like it has been, actually, which is kind of cool for us. Okay, we want the fortified seals, and we're going to move this one. Now we've got a little bit more room. We'll just move this a little bit further back. Just, again, gives a little bit more time to react if one of them tries to dart off and, uh, I don't know, sleep, grab a drink, something like that. All right, get to your stations, please. Got some from... Who have we got? We've got Million Fowl and Incompetent LP. Well, that's... Honestly, I'd feel confident enough just sending those two out, but we'll see if the rest of the squads are going to make it. Um, are they asleep, perhaps? Yes, yeah, so we've got a couple of people asleep. Well, we'll give them a little time to join us. If they can, then they can come out and revel in the glory. If not, then we're going to be going out with these guys. Give them a little bit more time, maybe until midnight. If at midnight they haven't arrived, then we're going to leave without them. That is your window of opportunity. Lots of man's dying. Ah, oh, bollocks. That's what I was worried about. Okay, well, that guy is going to be a significant threat now. But, on the plus side, I'm 
Oh, he's dying of thirst. He might just leave. I don't really want want you to. The flamer of the flamer of the gloves. If I could get that, I would be very tempted in equipping incompetent LP with two legendary steel hammers. Just drop the shield and just go for steel hammers all the way. I think incompetent LP would then become a man slayer. And also a goblin in armor slayer. Ah, oh, balls. Okay, he's only going for a drink. Yeah, we're still okay. This still might work out. He's coming back. Well done. Good old million foul. Doesn't want to miss a fight. But, uh, you know, when, when you've got a dry throat, you've got a dry throat, you know? Okay, that's good enough. And actually, that's bang on midnight. So let's pull this lever and we'll see who we get here. And if we get a reasonable group. Oh, bandages. Fair enough. It's always good to have. Ah, balls. Come on, stop being derps. We need this lever pulled. There we go. Right, join me in the next episode when we will have Saro, our Warhammer-wielding gnome, covered in... Well, he's got an iron pauldron and an iron breastplate, but otherwise all steel. He's got a 50 hammer skill and a 40 dodge skill. Watery pillow, our sword and shield equipped. All steel except for an iron breastplate and iron shield. You've got a 53 in sword, a 40 in shield, and a 44 in dodge. We will also have Million Fowl, our god of war. Steal everything except for breastplate, pauldron, and shield. With a 69 axe, a 51 shield, and a 50 dodge. He's got higher skill with his shield than some people have with their primary weapon. He is that good. And a 41 in fighting. Because, you know, biting is cool, yo. We'll also have Anthrax the second. He's equipped with a steel sword, steel hammer, and everything is steel except for a pauldron. He has got a 64 in sword and a 37 in hammer and a 46 in dodge and a 41 in shield, but which he's not going to be using anymore. Actually, we may let him pick up the uh, legendary hammer. I don't know. It would be good to spread out our killing power. We have Incompetent LP, equipped in steel except for an iron pauldron and an iron shield. He is wielding the Goring Seizure, a legendary steel hammer. His skills are 51 in shield, 47 in dodge, and 65 in hammer. These are our avatars of death. The bringers of misery to goblins and mants alike. They will be making a march ahead of the Merchant Wave, which we hope will be a big one out into the waste and they are probably going to be fighting if i can find him he may have left which would actually depress me a little bit because i really did kind of want to fight him but they will be fighting the force from cinder fragment i think we may have actually lost the chance to get the a legendary kill and a new legendary hammer but uh oh well these things happen i suppose so it looks like there may be a few man still on the field i can't see them but there is definitely a full goblin invasion here. Got some ogres, a couple of goblins, one dual wielding steel. So yeah, should be an interesting episode. I hope you can join me. But until then, and as always, do take care.